Hi, this is your guy, Isaac Newton, the walking Bible. Today, I will be reciting Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 to 21 using the New King James Version. Let's remember, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, But sanctify the Lord God in your heart, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you about the hope of a reason in you with meekness and fear. The Bible also tells us in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is the Bible memorizing channel. I have memorized 22 books of the New Testament, and out of it today I will recite Romans chapter 12, from verse 1 to 21, using the New King James Version from the head without looking into the bible we go romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable to god which is your reasonable service romans chapter 12 verse 2 and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good acceptable and perfect will of god Romans chapter 12, verse 3. For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Romans chapter 12, verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. Romans chapter 12, verse 5. So we, being many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Romans chapter 12, verse 6. Having then gift differing according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. Romans chapter 12, verse 7. Or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching. Romans chapter 12, verse 8. He who exhorts in exhortation. He who gives with liberality. He who leads with diligence. He who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Romans chapter 12 verse 9 let love be without hypocrisy above what is evil cling to what is good romans chapter 12 verse 10 be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love giving preference to one another romans chapter 12 verse 11 not lagging diligence fervent in spirit serving the lord romans chapter 12 verse 12 rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation Continuing steadfastly in prayer. Romans chapter 12, verse 13. Distributing to the needs of the saints, giving to hospitality. Romans chapter 12, verse 14. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. Romans chapter 12, verse 15. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Romans chapter 12, verse 16. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Romans chapter 12, verse 17. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If it were possible, as much as depends on you, live at peace with all men. Romans chapter 12, verse 19. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves. But rather, give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, for I will repay, says the Lord. Romans chapter 12, verse 20. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap up coals of fire on his head. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. May the Lord bless us all. I encourage you to subscribe to the Bible Memorizing Channel. My name is Isaac Newton, the walking Bible. Thanks and may the peace of God be with us all in Jesus' name. Amen.